Calvin here bringing the latest edition of my video blog and um, it's Saturday um, coach today football team came up short during homecoming no big deal like any loss you learn things from it I think you learn more things from a loss you learn your identity but um, you know um, boys played hard but um, that's neither here nor there what we're, need, we're here to talk about is mixed martial arts MMA the greatest sport on the planet um, and in this installment that I have today, I would like to talk about Anderson Silva and the potential idea of a super fight between either George St. Pierre or Mr. John Jones, the dominant force that is in the light heavyweight division. Obviously, St. Pierre is the dominant force in the welterweight division. So um, before I get into anything, I'd just like to say a um, big shout out to the followers, um, everybody on Twitter um, that I talk to, that reads my work, reads my, watches my videos. You're all so great. Um, everybody's feedback, uh, positive, negative, it only is, it's just, it's great to um, talk MMA with uh, everybody. Everybody's different, has their own personality, and it keeps things interesting. And it just has me continue to say that the, mix, the MMA community is the best on the planet, hands down. Nobody else is even close. Um, and we're, like I said, we're only going to get to the top. Everybody's the best in the MMA community. We are the best. So, um, uh, thanks to the followers, as always, um, and also I'd just like to say uh, shout out to Couch Fighter, as always. Um, like, to thank you for uh, letting me get my voice out there, put my articles out there, and um, you know, the be one of the best sites on uh, out there on the internet. And the sky's the limit; things are only going to get better. Um, the future is very bright. Um, give it a look. You know, uh, articles coming out every day or almost every day, and some of the best quality. So. Give it a look, um, and like I said, sky's the limit. So, what I'd like to talk about today, obviously, is Anderson Silva, the idea of the super fight uh, between John Jones and George St. Pierre. I'd like to talk about Anderson Silva first. Anderson Silva, um, let's just say one thing, the best number one pound for pound fight in the world. And this is coming from a guy that is not an Anderson Silva fan. I'll, I'll just like to state that before I start. Do, am I not an Anderson Silva fan? Absolutely not, I'm not a fan. Do I respect the guy? Yes, I do. There's a big difference between being a fan and respecting the guy. I respect what the guy has done. He has continued time and time again to come out and pull off a victory, um, whether it's on the ground or standing on his feet. And um, really, let's just talk about Anderson Silva for a second. The guy's stand-up is some of the best out there. He's super balanced. His kicks are devastating. His stand-up is his, his, his striking is exceptional. He uses elbows, knees. Punches, he uses everything. His Muay Thai clinch is exceptional, and his footwork is great for a guy his age. And he's not getting any younger, and he continues to come out there time and time again and get it done. So, you know, that's Anderson Silva. And, you know, he submits guys, too. You know, beat Dan Henderson on the ground, uh, a top tier wrestler, a guy, lifetime, a great wrestler. He beat Chel Sonnen on the ground. I mean, <laughs> um, people beat Chel Sonnen uh, in submissions. That's not saying, well, I'm not going to say it's not saying much, but, you know, a lot of people beat Chel Sonnen. But um, Anderson Silva did in the fashion where in the fifth round. Um, one of three submissions that have come in the fifth round. That is not one of the easiest things to do. So um, I believe that's in championship bouts. Uh, don't quote me on that. I believe that is accurate, though. And, you know, Anderson Silva does it time and time again. He is a great champion. That's not talking about his personality or how he goes about it. But he's a great champion. He's very talented. Um, and here's what happens is Ed Soares comes out the other day and says, Anderson Silva has four fights up. And rightfully so. The guy's old. He's, um, we're talking old in MMA years. He is old for an MMA fighter, a guy who does it his, for his lifetime. He's old. And it's time to start thinking about his career after mixed martial arts. Um, and... You know, um, he comes out and says um, he's got four fights left, and he also says that Chael Sonnen's at the back of the list, which I disagree with, is that Chael Sonnen has maybe been off for a year, but the guy gave um, Anderson Silva a run for his money, and yes, he did test positive for, um, uh, what's it called, uh, testosterone, but I'm not getting into that in this video. I'd like just to say that um, Chael Sonnen might deserve that rematch, especially after beating Brian Stan in such exceptional fashion, calling out Anderson Silva being fighting words, but... Um, who knows? Anderson Silva has four fights left, and in order to solidify your legacy as one of the best fighters ever, you have to have a super fight. And he's got four fights left. 
Three of those will most likely be in the middleweight division. I'm going to count Sonnen for one of those, whether he does it first, second, third, or fourth. That fight needs to happen again. In the end, it's all about money. That's how it works. Okay, Sonnen Silva will get lots of money. Will be the biggest rematch seller of all time. One of the highest drawing pay per view events, and most tickets will sell out. Huge. Probably it will make UFC 134 tickets sell out quicker than anything. Okay, they make UFC 134 is, I think, believe is what, 42 minutes UFC 134 is tickets sold out? Sign Silva 2 will sell out quicker than anything. But that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about John Jones and GSP. So, Anderson Silva needs a super fight. I'm saying that one goes to Sonnen, one goes to Dan Henderson, winner lose against um, Shogun Hua. I think he's going to beat Shogun Hua. That's just my take on it. Um, but, you know, uh, give or take, whoever the other guys are, but those two fights need to happen. The other one needs to be a super fight. It, you need to not silence the critics, but you need to make the fans happy. Sound and Silva will. Sound and Silva 2 will. Uh, Dan Henderson versus uh, Silva 2 will make the crowd happy. But you need to have a super fight. And you know what? Um, GSP could lose to Carlos Condor. It's a possibility. John Jones could lose to Leonardo Machida. Um, you know, it depends on how the future unfolds. Those are the two guys that make the most sense right now. Anderson Silva, um, GSP will come up to 185. That makes sense. It's definitely possible. Uh, Anderson Silva will have to jump up to 205 in order to fight John Jones. Okay, we can only imagine how skinny John Jones's legs would look at 185. They're already twigs at 185 uh, at 205 pounds. But that's how it's going to work. The question is, which guy is he going to fight? So let's just go down the list. GSP, the guy has cleaned out the welterweight division. He has beat everybody, um, and you know he's gotten criticism about not being able to finish lately. Me in particular. I like guys that finish. That's just my style. But I respect the game planning aspect of MMA. It is kind of new um, to the whole thing. Ever since wrestling has really become the new thing, and GSP finish, um, doesn't finish guys recently. He's more than capable of though. I think that's the most frustrating part is that GSP can finish guys. Um, but GSP stand up. He's great. His kicks are great. His Punching is great, but I give more credit to his athleticism that makes it uh, possible. His wrestling, his takedowns, some of the best in MMA. His um, ground game is great. The guy's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, is he a true black belt? That's questionable. But, um, you know, GSP is a more than capable opponent for Anderson Silva. The question is, though, um, well, just very quickly, I'd like to say is that GSP lives, sleeps, and breathes MMA. He trains year-round. I mean, all these guys do it, but GSP lives it. That's the best thing I could say about GSP. He lives MMA. That's, this is his life, and I know this is life for other people, like MMA is life for people. GSP is the poster child for it. He is the guy that eats, sleeps, sleeps and breathes MMA. It's his life. Okay, and if anybody wants to question it, I highly doubt that that's, it, you can't even question it. GSP is the guy that is, he's the number one guy who trains and lives for it. But the question is, is GSP, um, obviously he's worthy of this super fight, but the way does it pan out, is it the best fight? Um, GSP is a great wrestler, um, but he also has, if he is to fight Anderson Silva, he has five rounds um, to wrestle with Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva also has five rounds to connect to GSP um, with his exceptional stand. I would give the stand-up advantage to Anderson Silva, hands down, okay, um, due to his versatility, and GSP is very versatile for himself, but, um, you know, we could question, I, I don't think GSP has knockout power, and he can go on sports science all he wants and show how powerful his punches and kicks are. Anderson Silva's got finishing power, and um, both these guys are confident fighters, and I think the advantage here is GSP's wrestling, but I don't think it will help him in this fight. It would be a good fight, but in the end, you know, GSP maybe has a good chin, um, but I don't think the guy likes getting punched. Obviously, he got poked in his eye against Jake Shields, but after that, he was a completely different fighter, obviously, to the eye poke. But GSP was beaten up. He was brutalized in that fight by Jake Shields, uh, a good grappler whose stand-up game has not been that good at all. Jake Ellenberger could quote for, uh, can vouch for us on that one. But I, I just see GSP getting TKO'd in that fight. He can wrestle Silva as much as he wants, but he is not Chael Sonnen, who has a great chin. GSP doesn't like getting hit. And whether you agree with that or not, that's just how I see it. GSP, and this is with all the respect to GSP, the guy's cleaned out his division, he's a great fighter. But I don't see him being victorious against Anderson Silva. I don't see it, it would draw a lot of money, it would be a great pay-per-view draw. 
I don't see him beating Anderson Silva. That's just the way I see it. He can only wrestle him for five rounds, and maybe he can finish him with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but I see Silva TKO and GSP. I don't see him being able to take the hits. Now, that's what I think, okay? Um, I don't think that's the best matchup. That's not the best super fight. I think Anderson Silva wins that fight by TKO. Um, he won't submit GSP. GSP's wrestling and his uh, athleticism will help him dominate that. And also, um, you know, Silva striking is just that much more superior in his confidence um, when he's standing up. The fight that I would like to see um, is Anderson Silva just versus John Jones. And, you know, John Jones is young. He's quote-unquote raw, but he is just as athletic. He's freakishly athletic. His reach advantage is what he brings to the table. 84 and a half, um, not even a half, 84.4 inch reach. Um, huge advantage to Anderson Silva. But the one thing that we all always will question is John Jones has never had to prove himself, or not prove himself, he's never had to show his resolve. We don't know how his chin is. We've never seen him take a hit. We all thought Rampage Jackson would show us that. Rampage Jackson uh, failed to pull the trigger. Um, he respected John Jones' game too much, and we all know Anderson Silva will not respect John Jones' game because he doesn't respect people's games. Anderson Silva is a respectful opponent, um, after, before and after, but he does not respect fighters' game. That's how he goes. That's what he does. Okay, but um, John Jones presents a long reach advantage. He presents some of the best wrestling in MMA. He has a Greco-Roman background. He can slam anybody, and his long body allows him to keep opponents on the ground with his long legs. If he gets you on the ground, you are not getting up. That's the way it works. Okay, and he will beat you down. We all saw, and you know, I could continue to refer back to Chel Sonnen's fight with Anderson Silva, and why not? Chel Sonnen has been, I will say this, is that Chel Sonnen is one of the best wrestlers in MMA as well. John Jones might just be the best. Him, GSP, um, Chel Sonnen, there's a lot of good wrestlers in MMA. But John Jones is one of the best. The guy could slam anybody. He can control anybody on the ground. And he submits guys. He submitted Rampage Jackson. Rampage Jackson has some of the best submission defense. Whether you love him or hate him, the guy, I believe he has never been submitted for until John Jones. He's never been submitted before him. John Jones made it look easy. It was a flawless, in Joe, Joe Rogan's words, performance. And John Jones' reach, his kicks, his punches, his Muay Thai, his elbows, his flying moves are great. This would be one heck of a fight. It all comes down to John Jones's chin. And I think the best guy to give Anderson Silva a run for his money, besides Chael Sonnen, besides GSP, and if we're talking about the best super fight uh, that could possibly come out and be matched up for the future, obviously people think that John Jones needs to clean out his division in order to earn this super fight, but we also have to think about how much longer does Anderson Silva have left in the UFC, and it was finally laid out for us. There are four fights left. John Jones should get that fight. Okay. He has to beat Leona Machida. He might have to fight Rashad Evans next. He might have to fight um, Dan Henderson next. We just don't know what's going to happen. But if we're talking the best super fight draw, it would be John Jones versus Anderson Silva. We would see a little bit of everything. How I think John Jones wins that fight is by his wrestling. I think he would demoralize Anderson Silva. We all know how much Anderson Silva. The guy can fight off his back, but we all saw he was put out of his comfort zone against Shell Sun. Yes, he pulled off the victory, but the guy would rather stand up and bang with you. I hate using that term, standing up and banging, but he would rather stand up and use his exceptional stand-up. So, when it comes down to it, the best super fight um, out there uh, would definitely be John Jones versus Anderson Silva, and I certainly hope it happens. Obviously, John Jones has only defended his belt once. He's going to have to prove himself against Leona Machida and be successful. And, you know, GSP is going to do a great job against Carlos Condit. Me, personally... I will be rooting for Carlos Conda during this fight. I also hope that if GSP wins, it will be by finish. Good luck. Um, Carlos conda has got a stin, uh, excuse me, a stin. Yeah, he's got a chin of granite. Good luck knocking him out. But it's going to be a great fight. In the end, it comes down to what's the best draw, John Jones versus Anderson Silva. Okay, that is the best super fight that will be out there. Um, that's going to draw the most money besides Son and Silva, too. And John Jones presents a lot of problems for Anderson Silva. His wrestling, his stand-up, I'd love to see it. And it would be a great fight. And I hope it certainly happens. Um, whether Anderson Silva, I don't want to say ducks the fight, but uh, I would really love to see this fight happen. When it comes down to it, that's what I'd like to see. John Jones, Anderson Silva, super fight. Um, whether it happens from fight one, two, three, or four, um, the last four fights that Silva has left, 
I look forward to it. Um, this is the latest edition of my video blog. Uh, signing out, shout out to Couchfire, the followers. God bless.